You guys know what this is? Yeah? This is a replica of the Declaration of Independence. Most of you should know what this is. You know, look on the bottom. John Hancock, obviously not the real one because if it was, this video would be a lot more interesting. And I have a lot more to explain. And even what I'm about to explain probably won't make any sense. Once upon a time, there was a man who believed that the best way to cure the world of his illnesses is to make everybody believe what he believed. Was to control people. Down to the core. Even if it made them feel horrible. And people were afraid to stand up. People were afraid to speak their mind and fight in fear of what would happen. And what happened was not pretty. Until one day, one voice said with a crazy smile, No, it stops today. It's comforting to know, even in this world, people are willing to stand up for what they believe in. Regardless of who thinks otherwise, regardless of who... Who disapproves now people say that America is in the land of the free but it is there are a lot of other places that don't even allow a quarter of what America allows it's no paradise no and there are a lot of details we still need to hammer out but it's the idea that you can pursue it that you can run improve upon it that even the people in power are there because of the people who choose crooked or not fair or not even people who manipulate situations they are put there originally because they had the drive to be there they pursued their own happiness now luckily there are always gonna be people who will light the way in the path of darkness and there are people who be who are able to come back from darkness and do better I'm not entirely sure where but this is going up in my room my cousin Zach got this for me knowing how important it is, it is to me not just here but it, what it means to me personally Where I'm from, there is no Declaration of Independence. But there is the thought, the ideal, the individual concept that you can be whatever you want. Even if you choose to be dark, you can be that if you will. But also know that balance has to be there too, so someone has to stand up against that. Regardless of how how dark and consuming the darkness is, there will be at least one light, and that's all it takes. And this, remind me that this, that exists and even in this world, even in this world. So regardless of the ridicule I will receive or the sideway glances I got bringing this in, I'm extremely grateful for, I almost called him Ty. No, Zach. I'm grateful for Zach for helping me out on this. Because I couldn't buy it myself. Not because I didn't have enough money, but... Rules and regulations. But he got it from me because of what I told him. And he understood. Or at the very least, understood how much this meant to me. Thank you, Zach. And thank you people who believe that this world can be a better place. A lot of times I, I try to not succumb to my anger and sometimes I just wish I could. Sometimes I wish I could just be. But then I remember my son has to live in a better world than, than what I did. And what the past did. 
we have to create a better future for the children of tomorrow, our children of tomorrow. Whether you have children or not, you have to understand that the future still lies in your hands. You still have the power to make tomorrow better for those who are still here. Or you can make it worse, but understand there are going to be people who will stand against you. Even though there might be people who stand with you, there will also be people who stand against you. I take pride to know that sometimes I have to stand for what I believe in. This weekend, somebody came to me and said, Hey, are you that guy that AJ kicked his door in? And I wanted to punch this guy's fucking light, heads out. His head's out. His lights. I, I wanted to fucking... And, and once again, I'm getting angry. And you can tell when I stop making sense. I wanted to fight him. I wanted to beat him. And he wasn't AJ. He was just some guy who thought he could be tough. Or funny or whatever. This Jeff guy. <laughs> AJ never kicked down my door while I was there. Because he knew what would happen. He kicked down the door after Jasmine told me what she told me. He kicked down the door after she went for him. She kicked down the door after the police locked it up so that my stuff wouldn't be stolen. And they took my stuff anyway. This is the guy that people want to stand behind. And they have the right to do so. They have the freedom to do so as much as I hate it. But I have to learn that I am not going to be able to beat these people. I'm not... I'm not Anakin. Which I learned meant he was Darth Vader. And he believed that people sometimes need to be ruled rather than convinced. Fear has to win over respect. So this weekend, I made sure that <laughs> I shined in front of the people that he was around. That the people who I was with this week, the people who I chose to help this week, that day, this week, this month, they know who I am. They know what I try to be. And there's no question about who I am. I try that, especially with my condition. I try that so people understand who I am. When they hear Nicholas, they know who that is. And they know that that's not Simon and that's not James, Michael, Tobias, Danny, Seth. It's I am me. I'm not them. And I will continue to fight to be me. I'll continue to pursue my own version of happiness. And I'm hoping that maybe one day I can I can make us better, you know. And some of you are not gonna understand that, and some of you are gonna mis misinterpret that. But those that know who us is, they know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make the world better for the legacy. So I'm not going to let people like Jeff or AJ beat me. I'm not going to let them turn me into the monster I was before. No. I'm going to stand and rise above them. I'm going to declare my own independence. And people will see my light. And they will hopefully stand by me. Because there will be a time that people will stand by him or her. And I'm hoping that what I've done, people will see that I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster like Audrey portrayed me to be. I'm not a monster that I was once upon a time. I'm better. And I'll show the world. I'll show my son. I'm a better man. Based upon my actions and because I've earned the title of a better man than I was. Not through words, but through action. So thank you all for listening. It's about 8.20. I still have a whole night ahead of me. <laughs>